this video, we're going to go ahead and look at how to integrate by parts. So in previous integration techniques, we've been integrating functions like the integral of x squared dx, where we just have one function right here. So then we can go ahead and just find the antiderivative. When you integrate by parts, we're going to have two functions. So we're going to have the integral of like x squared times cosine. So it's going to be one function and a second function. So if you were to just try to find u is equal to x squared, then du would be 2x dx, but we don't have that. And the other problem is we have a cosine to get rid of. So if you have the integral of u dv, where this would be my u and this part would be my dv, then there's a formula that says it's uv minus the integral of v du. That's something you're going to want to go ahead and memorize. And once you work out a couple of these problems, it'll become really easy uh, to figure out how that works. So example one, we're going to evaluate the integral of x times cosine of x dx. Okay, so we're going to want to use our definition that the integral of v du is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. So the first step, what I do is I rewrite the integral, the integral of x cosine of x dx. And what I need to do is I need to determine my u and my dv parts. So x is going to be my u and cosine of x is going to be my dv. So if u is equal to x, then du is equal just to dx. And then if I have dv is equal to cosine of x dx, in order to get the v, you take the antiderivative of both sides. So if you take the antiderivative of dv, you get v. And the antiderivative of cosine is just sine. Okay, so now I'm just going to plug all my pieces into my formula. So it's uv, so x times sine of x, minus the integral of v du. So sine of x, and then du is dx. So the x goes, multiplies with the sine, so it's u, v, again my formula is u, v minus the integral of v, du. Right, so all of the pieces line up. Okay, and then all you do is uh, just keep working it out. So x sine of x minus, and then the antiderivative of sine of x is negative cosine plus c. So it's x sine of x plus cosine of x plus c. Okay, so on your own, I want you to try to apply the same kind of logic in order to evaluate numbers 1 and 2. All right, so here we go. So step one, um, I like to identify my u, my u and my dv. So here is my u, and this whole thing is dv. So what I do every time is I go ahead and I set up that little, like, little chart thing that I had. So it's u is equal to x, du is equal to dx, dv is sine of x, dx, and so v is the antiderivative of sine, which is negative cosine. Okay, and then we have to plug it in our formula. So remember the formula is the integral of u dv is going to be equal to uv minus the integral of v du. So my u is x, my v is negative cosine minus the integral of v, which is negative cosine, du is dx. So it becomes negative x cosine x plus the integral of cosine x dx. So then we just integrate cosine and you get sine of x plus c. Don't forget the sine of x um, plus c, right? You need that plus c because you're taking the antiderivative without limits. Okay, number two says the integral of 2t times cosine of 3t dt. 
So I'm going to let this 2t be my u, and I'm going to let the cosine 3t dt be my dv. So again, I set up my little chart. I get u is equal to 2t, du is equal to 2 dt. And I get dv is equal to cosine of 3t dt. And so v is equal to sine of 3t divided by 3. The divided by 3, this is the chain rule in reverse. If you had to do a u sub, um, to get that by hand, you would end up multiplying both sides by 1 third. Okay, so now what we have to do is we just set up our formula. So again, until you have it memorized, I really do recommend writing u dv is equal to uv minus integral v du. So now what we want to do is go ahead and put in our pieces. So we get that this is going to be 2t times sine of 3t over 3 minus the integral of v. So sine 3t over 3 and then du times 2 dt. Okay, so now we're just going to clean all that up. I'm going to get 2 over 3t sine of 3t minus 2 thirds the integral sine of 3t dt. So I get 2 thirds t sine of 3t minus 2 thirds and then the antiderivative of sine of 3t is negative cosine 3t over 3 plus c. And we, now we just make it all nice and pretty. Sine of 3t plus 2 ninths cosine 3t plus c. It's very important to know how to choose the u and the dv. The tricks are basically you're just going to play around until you get good at it. So you're going to try making that u term go away when taking the derivative. So if your u and your dv do not make it easier to integrate, try switching what you're calling u and what you call dv. So typically if you have an x or an x squared, you're going to make that the u. If you have something like cosine, you don't really want to make that the u because the derivative of cosine is sine, negative sine, and then the derivative of that is negative cosine and then they just keep repeating. So whenever you make your U term, you're gonna to wanna to make that go away.